Okay, back with one last salad recipe. And you know what? I love to do a nice big spinach salad in the summer. You can grill some chicken and then just serve this salad. Uh, and it's just, you know, a nice light dinner. Again, I'm going to put some nuts in this salad. I just think nuts add some great crunch um, and they're just, they make salads fun. In this case, I'm doing uh, sliced almonds. You could do pecans, you could do walnuts, you know, whatever you have. And they actually have uh, now right in the grocery store. Um, you know, all sorts of pre-toasted nuts. Some of them have honey glazes and brown sugar glazes. So it's just really fun to, you know, experiment and, and try some of the different nuts that are out there. And they just add a whole other element to your salad. Once again, I'm going to use my old ball ca uh, canning jar and shake up the dressing. This is a balsamic vinaigrette. And we talked about that earlier. This is one of the vinegars that I always have on hand in my pantry. When I run out, I go buy another bottle. Um, and again, you find this right near the vinegars and the oils. Um, about a third of a cup of balsamic is what we're doing here. Now, normally, when you're doing salad dressings, you have a ratio. You normally do about one third, uh, th basically one part vinegar to three parts oil. Balsamic is a little bit. It's just a you know a little bit. Um, uh, it's not as acidic as other uh, vinegars. It's a little bit sweeter. So you can go a little bit more. You can cut back on the oil, I guess, is what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say when you're doing a balsamic vinaigrette. Now, I'm going to do a little bit, and I, this is something I normally also have on hand, and it really helps add a lot of flavor and thicken the dressing a, li a little bit. This is a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, just a little bit a couple tablespoons of sugar. And again, that's normally how I start my dressings, is I get the acid and the other seasonings and flavors in here first, give it a good shake, and then I add my oil. And in this case, I'm using olive oil, one of the other oils that I normally have on hand. I normally have, as far as oils go, olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, and then, uh, you know, sometimes it's fun to collect the different flavored, you know, if you go to those specialty stores, uh, the flavored, you know, uh, garlic and herb, uh, olive oil, all the different flavors that they have out there. So in goes our olive oil. We're going to shake that up. How are our nuts doing? They look good. All right, shake it up good, and it's going to again thicken and the extra dressing is going to keep in your fridge for a good week or two now just went to the store and got a nice big bag of baby spinach which is so so good for you I've got a couple of cups of just sliced fresh strawberries they're perfect this time of year I know they're um, we pick these up at festival but I know that they're picking strawberries right now so that's a fun thing to do with the kids now that they're out of school go pick some strawberries I always pick too many just getting these nuts off the heat so they'll continue to toast without burning get my strawberries in here want to remind everybody next big night out is on Monday and it's filling up quickly but there are still some spots left so call today for reservations it's gonna be so much fun we're headed to the Kensington Grill in Appleton. Five course meal, crab cakes, a wonderful salad. Uh, we're doing Lake Superior whitefish. Our next course is a grilled skirt steak with garlic mashed potatoes and asparagus. And then for dessert, we're having chocolate creme brulee. Five courses paired with wines, just $50 per person, tip included. It's going to be one fantastic night, so I hope you'll join us. Uh, call to make reservations today. 993-9860 is the number to call. Hope to see you there Monday night. Okay, we're going to do a light drizzle. You never want to overdress your greens, but you see how that thickened up just by shaking it? Pretty color, isn't it? Nice and rich. I'm just going to take some tongs. You can always serve extra dressing on the side for those who like extra. I tend to lightly dress my greens and just toss them with tongs. And then we're going to put a little blue cheese in here and some of the almonds. And then I like to save whatever we're putting in the salad, especially if I'm serving this on a big bowl, you know, which I love to start, especially a summer cookout or just a dinner party with a big salad on the table first. Everybody can help themselves and then, you know, then get the rest of the dinner started. So the little bit of extra nuts, the strawberries and the blue cheese, I want to save a little bit of that to garnish on the top. So I've got a nice pretty plate here. 
big white plate. Looks always looks really gorgeous. Lots going on in the salad. Lots of great flavor. And you saw how quickly we threw that dressing together. And I'm just gonna put a few extra strawberries on top, a few extra nuts, and some blue cheese. And there you go. Strawberry and blue salad recipes on our website.